are you thinking of buying your own home? Will you have any money left over for renovating and decorating your new space? Here to help you spend wisely, designer Sarah Keenly side. <laughs> Because buying a first home is a big deal to begin with, yeah. and you might be thinking, okay, I know the sofa I want, but there might you might be a fixer-upper. Yeah. You might need to get in there and fix all that wiring, so yeah. you sort of have to be thinking about both right from the start. Yeah, and as a designer, I have a really interesting vantage point on this, because a lot of my clients come to me when they've just bought a house or they're thinking of buying a house, yeah. and they sort of bring me in to say, can we do what we want with this, and what are we in for if we do this giant renovation? It's a smart thing to do, actually. Yeah, really Get is. you in on the ground floor, and then you can start making decisions, because mm. I can't tell you how many mistakes we made. <laughs> Tons! Like, you just don't know. So you don't know what you don't know. I'm going to quiz the audience now, okay? I've got a question for you. You tell me whether it is true or false. The style of your home should dictate how you design it. True or false? What do we think? I say false. <laughs> Most of you are saying true. What do you so think, Sarah? split down the middle, even. So this is true. It's true. Within reason. Within, Within reason. reason. Yeah, so the reason that this is true is that you want to pay respect to the structure that you've purchased. Okay. So um, I, the kind of work that I do with my firm is traditionally Victorian homes. Mm -hmm. It's a sort of like an older ho housing stock, right? Yeah. And instead of going in and just blowing out the interior and going super modern, you want to pay homage to the original detailing there. Yes. But that doesn't mean it has to stay stuffy and traditional. Okay. It's really, it's my favorite kind of design actually when you do a more updated look, like a really bold wallpaper yes. or a very contemporary dining table, but but still having all the traditional detailing. Okay, so you don't have to keep it exactly the same. We've no. got some pictures sort of to, to show this process. Yeah. You'll see in this home, uh, you know, it's kind of a darker space. We've got a living room here. Yeah. Check so out that's the, the update. Before, and then this is the update. So it's lovely. Very, very different. Yeah. It's still that traditional element of the fireplace, the traditional detailing, the old fashioned sort of mullioned windows. Yes. But then the furniture we've gone really contemporary with. So it doesn't totally. have to look stuffy. No, okay, so okay, so I'm okay with it. Yeah. Then. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Here's another question. The living room is the main entertaining space of your home. Is that true? Or false, the living think? room. False, they're all like false, uh, false, 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 false. So these I are some false. people that have entertained before. Right? You can tell. <laughs> Get out of my kitchen. Yes. That's what I want to say. Exactly. Right? I think everyone knows where the party ends up and that's the kitchen. Yes. Yeah, definitely. And so one thing that I like to advise clients when they're buying a new home yeah. is look at the layout of your home mm -hmm. and how can that uh, be maybe tweaked to be better for entertaining. Right. So a, a traditional layout in a home is you have a kitchen on one side and then there's a wall dividing the dining room. That's right. Consider opening that up. That's what we did. Yeah, create an open concept space mm -hmm. and that's that's one of the projects that I brought to even show you that we took a tiny little kitchen yes. and a tiny little dining room, opened up the in-between yes. and then that way the kitchen is just for countertops and Absolutely. just for, for cooking and then that way you get all the uh, seating area in the dining room. We love that. So you are going to be thinking, you're going to regret it if you do not think about this off the top because everyone will be in your kitchen and your bums will be touching. Yeah. If you haven't thought about the plan, you're trying to open the oven, someone's behind you, so definitely spend some time thinking about the layout of your kitchen because yeah. um, that's where they all stay. Yeah, and islands are good buffers. They really they are. They keep people at bay. Yeah, you stay on the other side. Exactly. Here's another one for you. When decorating your home, you should have a theme to keep a cohesive look throughout. A theme. You should have a theme to keep a cohesive look throughout. I'm going to say false on this one because when I think theme, I think circus. <laughs> right? Yes. Most of them, so, some false, some true. So this one is a falsy, 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 falsy. <laughs> okay? But it depends how you've interpreted what theme means. Right. So I'm talking that late 80s, early 90s, <laughs> paisley curtains with a paisley upholstered couch, and then there's a throw pillow in the dining room that has the same fabric. Right. No matchy, matchy, matchy. No. No. It's, no. it's so passe. Yes. But the difference is, is that you still want to create a cohesive look but do that with your hard finishes nice so establish perhaps your flooring material bring that throughout and maybe when you switch into a room where you've got a tile yeah maybe bring that into the millwork
I like that idea. Yeah. So if your favorite animal is a rooster, there's no need to be decorating <laughs> with all roosters. No. no. No, no. It's the best way to sap your home of personality. Absolutely. Yeah. I agree. Okay, here's a good one. Consult a designer you trust before you buy the house. Are we going to say true or false to this? I might have given this designer. one away a bit earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might have been a leading question. Yes. Um, true. Well, I, I need a job, guys. <laughs> No, so the thing is, is that it's it's a bit, it's not for everyone. You don't need a designer for if, you, if you're moving into a turnkey kind of a right. home. Yeah. But if you are buying that little fixer-upper and you have big dreams that this is your long-term family home, mm -hmm. it's good to bring in a designer to see how does the layout really work. Yeah. You know, sometimes you think, oh, don't worry, on the second floor, we just want to take the bathroom and move it to the front of the house. It's like, you don't Ooh, understand what that actually entails and the sheer cost of that. Yeah. So bring in a designer to A, make sure that your dreams are a reality, and B, to make sure that you're budgeting accordingly for the kind of renovation you're looking at. Budget, budget, budget. Yeah. That's where you guys can really be, uh, bring the reality to the scene. Yeah, we tend to be the bad guys. Yeah. In those scenarios. <laughs> Someone's got to do it, right? Wah, wah. Right? <laughs> Speaking of budget, budget for, here's a question for you. Budget for all the new furniture you will need when you are purchasing your new house. Home. Do you budget for all of the furniture? You're saying true. She's very confident about that. <laughs> Mostly true. I would I would actually say false to this. So you're on a roll, first okay. of all. I'm saying false too, and some people might disagree with me on this. Yeah. Here's the thing. Yeah. Our parents did not live in magazine-ready homes. They sure did. Think of the house you grew up in. Yeah. You had hand-me-down sofas. I don't know why, at this day and age, we feel like we need to move in and everything needs to be so perfect. No. You just bought a home. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Like, Chill out on your mattress for a little while. Exactly. Okay? And, like, and that, take it easy. Yeah. Not everything needs to be Instagram perfect. Yeah. Move in what you can. And see also see how you live in that space. Yeah. You know, maybe maybe your living room isn't set up the way you thought, so you needed a different type of sofa in the first place. Yeah, I love it. That's very. I like the way you're going with that. Uh, you can see Sarah on HGTV's Home to Win, along with other City Line designers, Carson, Tiffany, Sabrina, Danielle, Scott, Brian McCourt, and the Property Brothers. So thank you so much, um, Sarah. That was a really good lesson for us. Thanks for having.